The alternation of cold and heat is really good for your cardiovascular health. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just take a hot and cold shower, for example. Yeah. That is something that is feasible. It is doable. Everyone can do it. You can start there. And you will have the benefits of the vasoconstriction, vasodilation, and the increase in nitric oxide. We mentioned that. Um, and all the mental benefits, all the physiological benefits of activating the brown fat, all these things you have. But I always say, you should end with the cold shower because then you are pushing your body to reheat on its own. Mm -hmm. And that is a good thing because it's just like the aftermath, you can say the after workout for the body, it increases the metabolism, activates the brown fat, and it pushes the brown fat to reheat your body. And that means that your cold shower or cold water immersion, if you have access to that, will push your brown fat to stay healthy, stay activated, and also grow. It takes up the glucose, it takes up the fat in your bloodstream, and in that way, you can burn more calories and makes your body more efficient at burning calories in the future. 